Good morning, hot dogs. Nasa. Scholarships, fish fry, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In case you guys all forgot, the public is invited to St. Mary's Catholic Church for the annual fish fry. Dine in the Muller Hall or get carry out, and there's more information and details posted in the chatter as well. Dinners are available from 4.30 to 7 p.m. on Fridays during Lent, which is February 16th through March 22nd. Meals are $15, and your food selections are Alaskan Pollock fillets, baked potato or french fries, coleslaw or applesauce, and a choice of a big pie or large, large cookie with some iced tea or some fresh lemonade or coffee. Also, moving away from all that fish fry stuff, once again, if you'd like to further your education and attend college, you are required to get the meningitis B vaccine. That's enough for me and the best 99 around, so let's send it to sports and weather. What up, guys? If you didn't know, the 1A and 2A regionals are hosted here in Case Arena this Saturday. So if you don't got anything to do, go watch, as they should be some good games. And Frankfurt is a part of history once again, as the show Hatchard is, is becoming the first female referee to official a boys regional basketball game in the state of Indiana. Well, I just subbed in for Anthony today. I saw him this morning, but no clue where he went. But now, off to weather. Thanks, Carlos, and good morning, hot dogs. Today, this morning, it feels very cool. I don't know about you guys, so today's weather, it will be very cloudy all this afternoon. But the high of 53 and low 45 degrees, we also have some, some light rain this afternoon, May night. And winds will be 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's all for weather, now back to Riley. Thanks, Azacena. Now, there is also a FAFSA completion workshop on March 20th, and this will be at the high school in the cafeteria. And it will start at 5 p.m. and will end at 7 p.m. There, there will also be Spanish-speaking assistance for those who don't speak or understand English. And make sure to bring a device or computer with Wi-Fi to access the Student ID Gov website. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2 is country fried steak, and in lines 3 and 4 is Nashville hot chicken. A big happy birthday goes to Zigwe Casanita Tagahasi. Instead of our normal outro, our afternoon radio and TV crew prepared a video with a couple of students from the Principles of Construction Pathway. It shows them learning how to use an excavator and talking about some thoughts that were going on while inside of the operating and while they were using their machinery. And we're also going to dig in to some things that they offer through the pathway. Take it away. Buckets, soils, it's just, a, it's just a pathway that can just kind of build the person you are and it's just, I've learned a lot of stuff, <laughs> it's a lot of fun to respect it. It was pretty crazy at first. I didn't really know like everything where everything was at, but like they were really good at just like kind of explaining how everything worked and like it all went smoothly. It was pretty good. It's definitely a career to get into, and it's fun. It's scary because you have to estimate how far the boom is going to go out, how far the arm is going to swing out, how far your back end is from you, and knowing that your bottom end is facing forward compared to the rest of the body. It 
it was pretty scary because it's like a big piece of machinery. And it's like it's like very big for us to be handling, you know? but but we managed to handle it, and it was fun. It was pretty fun by the end. My one of my favorite parts about this class is just learning how to operate like different vehicles and just like we have other people that come in like with like soil companies and just other like carpentering companies and stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun to learn. It's really intimidating, um, but it was a lot better than the tractor. That was kind of surprising to me, seeing that it was a lot bigger, a lot more just riskier operating, but I had a lot more fun on it. Oh, uh, it feels confusing because I, because I you have to remember the the feet. If you press it down, you go to like the side, mm -hmm. and then you put and you press your feet back and it goes to the side. But that's still the front and the back. Uh, it, it's very confusing for the first couple times, but after you get it like once or twice, you start to understand. Like, forward is forward and reverse is reverse. Uh, how to do teamwork and how to communicate and how to like participate a lot with the other guys here and like just um, be here every day and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a pretty easy pathway. It's also, also just the jobs after are pretty nice. And, um, it's not a very hard class. Um, actually a whole lot of sharing between everybody else in the pathway. You want to do it all, think that you got it, but you have to share with everybody else and make sure that they get experience with the equipment and everything and everybody around you is on the same level as you. Uh, yeah, because I mean, it, it's like a, I don't, it's a good program to help students. Like, I mean, it's, it's something fun to do also while you're in school. Um, I don't know, it could really, it could really help you in the long run, being able to learn how to operate stuff. And how to be more responsible in safety, and how to use big machines. Well, well let's not do that. Uh, Alright, hey, I'm going to spin this to the side so that we can get uh, up here in this corner. That was a little confusing, because like, especially with you have two things that you'd move forward into the side, so that did get a little confusing, but like I said, they just explained it very well, and I was able to just move in with mm -hmm. Lena. Yes, it just depends on if you're really trying to, you know, you, if you know what you want to do, then you should, and it's something you should learn, even if you don't want to. It's just a great experience.